In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a low poly house in Blender, starting from the default cube. The house is not very important here, we will actually learn how to edit an object for modeling. We'll discuss about some editing tools, beveling, and material setup. Let us now start with a blank new file. We'll modify this default cube and create the model house. So go to the edit mode. Deselect everything and turn on the edge selection tool. Now we'll extrude this edge in this direction for the roof of the house. So select this edge. Then press E to extrude, then press X to lock it in the X dimension. Then type a value, maybe minus 0.5, and press Enter. We are extruding it in the negative X dimension, so we used a negative value, but it depends on the orientation of your object. Next we'll extrude this edge, so select the edge. Again press E to extrude, then lock in X, and type 0.5, and Enter. Good. Now, we'll extrude these edges in this way. So let us select these three edges together, while pressing the Shift key. Then press E to extrude them, we'll lock it in the Y direction this time, then type 0.3 and hit Enter. Also we'll extrude this end, in this way. So select these edges together, then press E to extrude, lock in Y, then type minus 0.3 and Enter. So the top surface is now stretched on all sides. Now, before we go to the next step, we'll remove these two pairs of inner edges, they are not needed for our design, and they can create some problem in the next step. So select these edges together, while keeping the shift key pressed on your keyboard. Then hit X, and select dissolve edges on this menu. So these inner edges will be completely removed. But you cannot get rid of all these extra edges, we need to keep some of them in place, because they are the connecting edges between the outer and the inner rectangles, so Blender won't allow us to remove them all. But that won't create any problem for us. Now we'll extrude this end of the top face vertically. So select the edge. Then press E to extrude. Press Z to lock it in the Z dimension, enter 1.2, and hit enter. Then similarly, we'll also extrude this edge vertically. So select this one. Extrude it in the Z dimension, 1.2, and enter. Once this is done, we need to also push them inside, so that they join along a center line, and we get a triangular shape for the roof. Let us turn on the vertex selection mode. There are many ways to do that, but what we'll actually do is, we'll merge these two vertices at their center point. So select them together with the shift key. Then go to the mesh menu and under merge, select the option merge at center. The vertices will now get merged at a center point like this. So we get a triangle formed at one end of the roof. We'll merge these two vertices as well, so select them together. Then go to the mesh menu and under merge, select merge at center. So we get the roof of the house created just as we wanted. But this is a hollow face, so we have to create a face for this triangle. Let's turn on the edge selection mode and select these edges together. Please keep the shift key pressed while selecting. Then go to the vertex menu and select new face from vertices. So we get this filled with a new flat face. Similarly, we have to create a face for this side as well. So let us select the edges. Then from the vertex menu, create a new face. So the basic building block for our house is now ready. So far it looks good, we just need to cut the door and the windows before we go for the next steps. So back to the object mode, we'll need one more object here in order to cut the door and the windows. So let us go to the add menu and add one cube. Then pick the move tool and bring out the cube from the house object. We have to also change its dimensions. Let us change the X scale factor to 0.4 so that we get a narrow object here. Then, we'll also change the Z scale factor to 0.7. And we'll move it down by exactly half of that, which is 0.35. Now we'll move it toward outside so that there is a small amount of overlap between them. Let us fine tune this as minus 1.8. Then select the house object. Maybe we can actually rename this to something like house. While the house is selected, go to the modifiers tab and let us add one boolean modifier. Ensure that the difference option is selected. Then in the target object, select the second cube. Now apply this modifier. If you hide this cube, you can see that a door shape is nicely cut from the house. 
It will look far better when we add bevels to this, and we create some colored materials. We'll do that in the edit mode, but let us first cut the windows for our house, so we have to bring back that cube again. We'll resize its dimensions for the windows. Let us change everything here, to 0.5 and we'll reset the location offset values. Then, we have to bring the cube toward this end, with a small overlap with our house. Let us directly enter a location value of 1.3 for this. Then select the house object. Go to the modifiers tab, and add another boolean modifier. In the target field, select the cube object, and then apply this modifier. Now, let us move it to the other end of the house, to cut the right side window. We need little bit of overlap here. For accuracy, let us use a value of 1.3 here, in the positive side. The process is same like before. We'll need one, boolean modifier. Select the cube in the target object, and then apply this modifier. Now we can delete this cube, its purpose is over. So we are done with step 2, the house is ready with a door, and the windows. We'll improve on this, by adding some suitable bevel. Let us first move it up, to the ground level. So change this Z location to 1. Before we move on to the edit mode, to add the bevel effect, let us also add some basic materials for the house, while in the object mode. So let us turn on the material view mode. Then go to the materials tab. For this default material, you can change its base color, to something like pale orange, or anything that you like. And we also need to add another material for the roof part of the house. So go upward, and in the material list, click on this plus button, to create one more entry here. Then create a new material for this slot. And in its base color, let us change it to some shade of red color, maybe like this. We got this new material added here, but we can apply this to the roof part only in the edit mode. So let us now go to the edit mode. First, deselect everything, and turn on the face selection mode. We have to select all the faces on the roof part, where we want to apply the red material. Please keep the shift key pressed, for this multi-select. Once it is done, just select this red material, and click on assign. The selected parts will now display the red color, while rest of the parts will still have the first material. So our model is somewhat ready, we will cover the rest in the second part of this tutorial. We'll add some bevel effect for the corners, then we'll change few materials, so that it looks more decent, and we'll also add some noise textures to the materials for a realistic output. So stay tuned for the second part we are uploading. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel.